Alright guys, just got a package. I'm pretty sure this is for the SI. Um, if it is what I think it is. Yes. Yep, it definitely is. Alright. This is his new uh, starter motor. It's awesome. That means once you get the coolant hoses in as well, this thing could get started. Freaking awesome. Alright guys, so probably gonna get on this at some point today. Get this installed. I gotta take his uh RBC manifold back off so we can replace the starter. And um maybe I'll start it today. I'm not sure yet. I got a couple other things I'm working on as well. I'm gonna have to do injectors on a BMW N54 motor. So yeah. And I have a surprise cooking up for you guys too that I might start filming today. Alright guys, so I'll be right back. I'll make decisions of what we're gonna do today. But that's good. Starter for the SI. Alright, what's up guys? Um <clears throat> just took the front brace off. The radiator support brace for the upper the upper radiator radiator support brace, sorry. <laughs> so that's the old starter. I just started unplugging it. So I'm gonna get that starter out. Yeah, I just decided to take all this off a little bit to get to the starter instead of taking the manifold off. Cause I gotta take all this, you know, I don't wanna take all that shit off. So I just decided to do this. It's just a whole bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. As you can see, I feel like it's much easier than trying to get all these, um, especially this corner bolt off in the manifold. That one is kind of pain in the ass to get to. So yeah, I decided to just take the, basically the radiator brace or the, Whatever brace is called, you know, I don't know. But just the top brace, I decided to take that off. And I could reach the starter right there. So I'm going to get the starter out, put the new one in. And then his coolant hoses haven't shipped out yet. So I'm going to, I have a whole bunch of hoses in a box in the back somewhere. So I'm going to go through it and see if I can find something that will work. If I do find something that works, then this is going to start today. If I don't find something that works, then... He said to look around and he'll send me the money. And I mean, it's Sunday, almost everything's closed already, I think. So hopefully I have something in the box that's gonna work. If not, if it doesn't start today, well, it's Saturday actually, it's not Sunday. Ha! Well, if it doesn't start today, it's definitely gonna start tomorrow, guys. So you guys are gonna see it start in this video, all right, guys? So I'm gonna be right back, get that starter in, and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, I got the new starter in. So car can definitely crank now the only thing is well you're not gonna be able to see from here i gotta change that the hose the coolant hose that goes to the stock oil cooler and the like the oil filter housing his is leaking like crazy so i gotta jack up the car get underneath there and see if i can find a replacement hose for that if i can find a replacement hose then i'll pull the car out and start it up for the first time all right, guys, so we'll see how I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, I'm not going to put any of this back yet just because i still got other work to do. But uh, once I figure out the holes, I'll put the whole front end back on and get it all done. All right, guys, good use. Car is done. Um, starter is in. Cooling holes, I actually was able to trim it, and it still fit, so we don't need new holes. So that's good. There's no coolant leak now. Um, yeah. As you can see it stopped leaking um yeah the only bad news is the o2 cent i don't think this header that's on this car belongs to the civic si i think it's the rsx header so i think the o2 bungs holy shit well that's not good it's not good at all oh fuck well i guess i got an oil mess to pick up now um ha. The O2 bung on this header is too far back, so I need to, uh, the O2 sensor needs to be extended. But other than that, the car is done. It just, you know, he has a fuel pump he wanted me to install, so that's really the only thing left to do, but that's real quick. But other than that, the car can definitely be jacked down and started. Alright guys, well, fuck, look at that guys. I got a shit ton of oil to clean up now. All right, guys, so I'm going to lower the car, put something on top of that oil, and then um, maybe we'll start the car tonight. I don't know. We'll see. That kind of oil spill kind of fucked everything up just now. This really sucks. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, car is done. 
Got the front bumper back on. The only thing I have left to do is the fuel pump. And he has to get his O2 sensor wires extended. He has some time to do that still. So, uh, yeah, he can come pick up the car now whenever he's ready. I'm going to do a first, I don't know if I'm going to do a first start tonight. It's already dark out. I don't want to disturb the neighbors. Um, yeah, the car is done. It should crank up now. I don't see why it shouldn't. It has a brand new starter. There's everything. All the sensors are plugged in. Oh, shit. Actually, I forgot to plug in the crank sensor. Ha! All right, just got to jack up the car real quick and plug in the crank sensor, and we're good to go. All right, guys. So, the next clip. You're going to hear this thing start up for the first time. See you guys.